I know we have a crisis in the whole world now regarding uh, um, refugee crisis mm. in Syria, Iraq, and um, mm. Libya. Mm. And lots of the people that want to come to in this country and you know, I have to first, I have to, you know, give uh, thanks to Germany. Mm. They're taking lots of people. It's Absolutely. amazing. Yeah. You know, God bless these guys, mm. honestly. Um, we're trying to have some here. Mm. It's the policy. Whoever makes the policy, they decide. We, we respect their policies. But they want to bring here probably 20,000 refugees in five years' time. Five years, yeah. You know, and people are saying, is that the right word or right number to use? What's your opinion? Because... Mm. A few weeks ago, we saw, and I'm so happy to see uh, our Christian um, leaders and the Muslim leaders and going out and saying, no, we need more people coming here. Mm. This is a humanitarian thing. This is really suffering people there. Mm. As a human, we need to give them a hand. Mm, absolutely. So what would you say? Well, I mean, my opinion, um, the first thing to say is that we have a duty of care to everybody, um, and particularly those who find that they have come to our country. So um, I've been involved in London Citizens and Citizens UK and Telco um, for a number of years. And I remember when I first joined that movement, there was a big campaign about the asylum of um, children and the, um, the detention of children who were asylum seekers. Um, and Citizens did a lot of work to improve the conditions and to, to make it illegal for children to be um, held essentially in captivity in a sort of prison-like environment. So that's one thing that I would say, that those who have already come to this country and those 20,000 over the next five years need to be treated in, a, in, a, in an appropriate way. And it's been inspiring to see the response of faith leaders and faith communities in particular. Um, only this morning there was a news article that the Archbishop of Canterbury is willing to open... Um, his home mm, to wow. refugee families and the Pope has done the same and then at the local level you see a lot of churches sending aid out and raising money for the Syrian refugee camps and for those who are held in d different countries um, so actually we Can have I just ask you something here because you talked about leaders of the faith group mm. in 20th century do you think the faith leaders are capable of facing the challenge of this century. Do you think we are capable of doing that? It, it takes uh, a coordinated response and it means that uh, different faith groups have to work together. Not just Muslim, uh, uh, Christian, I'm talking about Muslim, Muslim everybody together. Muslim, absolutely. Do you I think, think we're capable of doing the, facing the challenge? I, well, I don't think we're necessarily capable on our own and that's the point, that actually together we are more powerful. So what is also inspiring about these humanitarian crises in terms of the way that we respond is to see Christian and Muslim leaders coming together and the leaders of the different faiths and recognising that as human beings we have a problem that we need to, to address. We are called by God to address problems and we are called by God to put our resources into helping others and to try and build a peaceful world and one in which pe humans can live in dignity. So, yes, we, we are certainly capable of addressing the, the big world issues um, as people of faith. So you are the next generation of leaders in faith group. You will be, uh, you're from Oxford, I'm sure you will. <laughs> um, what would be your vision seeing in, mm. in, in next line of leaders? What would you want to see? I want 